Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create circular base plate in Tecla old version, just like this. Okay, let's start. To open Tecla structures, double click on this icon on your desktop. Environment, you need to select US Imperial, Role, Steel Detailing, Configuration, Steel Detailing. Then click on OK. Next, click on this new model to create new project. Model name. Let's take new model ten and model template steel detailing and model type single user. Then click on OK. Click on this 3D view. Then click on this arrow to open 3D view. Then close this window and click on here and drag it. Then click on here to maximize the window like this. Now we're going to create circular column. So click on this icon, create column. Then let's take click on here to place the column like this. Now right click on machine interrupt, zoom it. By default, we have I profile, but we require circular column. So double click on this column. By default, we have profile W16 by 50, but we require circular column. So click on here, select and minimize this I profile and click on here, circular hello section. And le let's take the pipe profile and click on here, standard. Uh, let's take pipe 10 STD. Then click on apply OK. Then click on Morphe to see the result. You can see now we have the circular pipe like this. Now we're going to change the height. So click on this position. Let's take bottom level 0 and top level 15 feet. Then click on Modify. Apply OK. Click on Space. Right click on Studio Review. You can see now we have circular column like this. Okay, now we're going to create so circular base plate at the bottom of this circular column. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F. In search bar you need to type 1052 then click on search here and scroll it down. You can see now we have the circular base plate 1052 or you can use this component also circular base plate without number. Now select this component and select the part as a column and pick the position as a gradient section point. Now close this window, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse draw. Use the shortcut control R and you pick the rotation point here. You can rotate like this with the mouse left key. You can see. By default we have the circular base plate like this. Now we're going to edit this circular base plate as we require. So double click on this circular base plate and zoom it here now click on this parts tab in parts you can control the base, this base plate thickness for example by default we have the thickness of this base plate is half inch let's take here 3 by 4 inch then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this base plate thickness should be 3 by 4 inch similarly you can change the stiffener thickness at here by default we have one half inch let's take here 1 by 4 inch then click on Morphis to see the result here. You can see now this uh, stiffen thickness should be 1 by 4 inch. Now coming to this circular base plate diameter, you can control from here. For example, we're going to take here 1 feet 8 inch. Then click on Morphy to see the result here. You can see now this circular base plate diameter should be 1 feet 8 inch from this option. Now coming to this stiffener, you can control the stiffener width and height from here. For example, we're going to take here the width of the stiffener 4.5 inch. Then click on modify. You can see now the stiffener width should be 4 and a half inch. Similarly, you can control the height of the stiffener from here. Uh, let's take here 8 inch. Then click on modify. You can see now this length of the stiffener should be 8 inch. Now coming to this anchors, so click on this anchor rod tab. In anchor rod tab, you can control the rod diameter and nut and washer profile from this tab. For example, we're going to change the anchor rod profile. So click on here, click on here circular section, click on here round, select this rod and let's take the diameter of this anchor rod 1 inch, then click on apply OK. Then click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this anchor rod size should be 
one inch. Similarly, we're going to change the nut and washer profile. So click on here, click on here, others. Let's take heavy hex nut profile. Let's take one inch heavy hex nut, then click on apply, okay. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have the one inch nut. Similarly, we're going to change the washer profile also. So click on here, let's take others and you can see now we have washer profile here let's take one inch washer then click on apply ok then click on more way to see the result like this now coming to this anchor rod profile you can change the profile of this anchor rod from here click on here let's take l profile then click on modify you'll get like this click on here you can choose this j profile then click on modify you'll get like this Click on here, you can select this option to click on modify to see the result here like this. You can change the length of this anchor rod from here. By default, we have the one feet. Let's take one feet six inch, then click on modify. You can see now the length of this anchor rod should be one feet six inches from this option. Okay, click on here. Let's take this profile, then click on modify to get like this. Now, you can see at the bottom at the bottom we have nut profile if you don't require this nut then click on here select this no then click on modify select this base plate then click on modify you can see we don't have any nut at the bottom of this base plate if you require then click on S here then click on modify you will get nut profile like this depends upon your requirement you can uh, place it or not from this option like this now come into this number of anchors you can control this number of anchors and the spacing from this both step then click on here both step in bolts let's take here one inch and this is the tolerance 5 by 16 now coming to here uh, for example by default we have the six bolts for but we require four bolts then enter here four and the uh, diameter distance between the two bolts in diagonal way let's take here one feet three inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the four bolts and uh, the spacing between the, these two anchors should be one feet three inch in diagonal okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse data view use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point you can rotate like this okay that's it about how to create circular base plate in tecla old version if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you